Coin Traders, what is going on? How are we doing? Thanks for joining me for the show. Looking at Internet Computer ICP on that ticker. Doing pretty good on the daily so far. We have been in this longer sideways chop period for an extremely long time. If we actually look at the start of when kind of a lot of this chop actually started about middle of December, but even running up to the end of December slash start of the year. So going on about four full months here of just a lot of sideways chop. So if we go back to that, we're actually looking at, as you can see, 121 bars, 121 days. So a lot of time period overall on the sideways movement because that is when we were hitting prices. Now we did have this breakout to the current trend high. That did happen back at the end of March, so a few weeks ago. And obviously ever since that pulled back within this overall sideways trading price range. And the thing about that is that if we actually turn on VPVR, volume profile visible range here, you can just see how we're stuck up at this big point of mass. So it actually takes a long time to zoom out before we actually get mass. That does take a lot more of that back during the big accumulation period when we were looking at prices down below the $7 and $8 level. So right now, this is actually still a pretty good opportunity because if we look at VPVR sitting on all this price trading, which is actually, despite it being born for the last four months, this is much better, obviously, than a constant kind of downtrend. So the fact that we're actually able to still maintain support on top of all of this level just kind of confirms and highlights a lot of that psychological support of the price stabilizing along this 13 to $14 level. And when we talk about technical structure for a crypto like this, this is exactly what we want to see. So despite it being extremely boring, we know that right now, the fact that price is stabilized for about four months when a lot of other cryptos have actually pulled back and retraced about 50 to 60%. Now, if we actually look at the current trend high from where we are, we are pulling back 35% down to the low, about 47%. So there still was that pullback, but overall what we're seeing is not necessarily the type of retracement that we have seen from a lot of other cryptos. So especially since we did have a huge rally for ICP of almost 100% from this bottom, where we were looking at a $10 level, about $10.50, this is actually still a really good sign. And even looking at price level support on a lot of these, we're still looking at, for example, on the retracement, pulling back to $10.70, and even now on the current level, about the $13 level, and then on the pullback from the trend high, about $11.76. So the fact that we actually find supports on these levels below the center point of mass is a good sign as well because the fact that now prices are able to break above the center point of mass which does come in right around the just above the 13 dollar level so still a good point and obviously with all of this sideways price chop trading we are creating this very nice heart line for this longer term support and if we actually want to flip over right now into the weekly for example and we do want to look at vpvr support as well then what's great to see about this weekly chart is that if we want to pull up support for the close on the weekly, we're looking at 1250. And if we compare that to the VPVR on the side, it's barely just below. So we are confirming this level from about 1320 down to about the 1250 zone as just extremely supportive. And as we can see, if we do turn off VPVR, for example, and want to go ahead and zoom in on these exponential moving averages, Initially, we were looking at extreme support on the 12 period EMA, obviously pulling back now to the 26, but still maintaining extremely good support on this zone. So even if we do see a rollover and these start to tighten a little bit because the 26 is going to start to approach and also the 12 will actually start to roll off. This has become an extremely critical, critical and crucial zone. And if we do compare it from where we actually started when we entered a lot of the sideways action, we're still more or less on this very nice steady uptrend. And so typically we do find a little bit more of a pullback on this type of scenario, especially when we look at volume kind of overall decreasing. But because we have actually had a little bit more increasing volume heading up to the trend high, the period that we're looking at right now with this pullback and sideways trading is just kind of more or less a longer term consolidation period. And the fact that now we're finding this period as a heart line kind of above the center point of mass of what we're looking at on the weekly confirms a lot of that longer term structure. So essentially what this means is that when we look at longer charts that, that do have more of a retracement, the fact that now we're actually kind of stabilizing and confirming this overall zone and level as that support reduces the likelihood of actually a longer term retracement that is more significant. So sideways stabilization is always much better than typically what we find where we have these highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And so although it is kind of boring just seeing kind of more or less sideways trading, from a longer term growth and structure perspective, this is exactly one of the benefits and things that we look for when we talk about solid projects and technical setups.
So every potential pullback opportunity has led to a lot of dip buying, which is why we have a lot of these long lower shadows, as well as confirming a lot of that structural support that we're finding based on the VPVR, excuse me, the VPVR volume, as well as still confirming extremely nice support here on this longer term weekly chart. And so when a lot of cryptos are starting to break structure, pull below the exponential moving averages and run the risk of actually breaking this bullish structure on the exponential moving averages, we have ICP still confirming very nice longer term support. And so even looking at the lower level of this from, for example, the fall bottoms, we're actually looking at closing support still be 332% above that level, which is about a four and a half X almost. Now, looking at the technical indicators, once again, for this weekly chart for ICP, we did talk about already on previous shows, the lower highs coming in. So more of that bearish divergence. But typically what we do see when we have bearish divergence is a more significant retracement. And just like we've been talking about for the whole show, the fact that we have this nice solid level does allow this RSI to actually cool off and cool down. Meanwhile, maintaining longer term structural support. And if we look at the RSI as well, we're almost fully below the 20 line here, which does mean we will be probably a week or two out from actually getting that nice bullish cross. So that does allow the bulls to actually continue to defend longer term support without seeing that much more of a significant retracement. And then we will get this very nice breakout opportunity where we'll see the stochastic RSI roll to the bottom and then finally have a lot more upside pressure along with the regular RSI. Now, do you want to actually talk about the short term setup and look at the daily first since it has been about a week and a half since we have covered ICP. So right now, like we've talked about, very nice closing support here that did last quite a while. So we're looking at very nice closing support on the daily at 1185. So from the bottom here, we were actually looking at closing support lasting a whole week. So seven bars maintaining that level of support. So very nice support could come in as we see a lot of long lower shadows and prices did dip below this level. But the fact that bulls actually defended this level very nicely, put in a nice upside gain. And then even on this pullback, still saw a little bit of decreasing bearish volume, obviously on the current bounce right now, still seeing not that much bullish volume coming in as well. So kind of what we're expecting and anticipating right now, based on defending this level of closing support, putting in this nice high and actually defending a higher low, we are hoping to see a lot more of this upside, but we are running into daily exponential moving average resistance. So as we do experience a little bit of decreased taper off volume, that does start to give the impression that we're not gonna put in a new trend high on this bounce attempt. So if we do look at a high of 1640 and we do continue to see similar setup, we're actually expecting a lower high to come in. Probably if I had to guess, it would be around the low $15 level and then probably a significant or a slight pullback as well to hopefully defend a higher low on top of 1257. And essentially what that would put us in is a little bit more of a longer term consolidation pennant pattern. But because we actually have a lot of support and defense coming in, especially with tapering off bearish volume, that actually would give a little bit more likelihood, especially sitting on top of VPR support to have a little bit more of that bullish break. So really the risk of downside pressure is kind of going to come down to the rest of the crypto space since we obviously are still paired and correlated with the rest of crypto. But just because we have been sitting on top of this overall longer sideways chop pattern for the last four months still gives a lot of favoritism to bullish upside, especially when we want to talk about overall bear selling pressure, as we can see down below on the volume chart. So, for example, after we had our last trend bottom running up to the high, that's kind of when we saw the most amount of selling pressure come in. Now, obviously, a lot of it was still bullish volume, which is kind of why we have this upside wick on this candle, but still nonetheless did still close and obviously tapering off bearish volume. So the last time we also had the next amount of bearish volume was kind of down on this capitulation candle where we actually put in the low from this trend high and had this most significant amount of pullback. But then even still a lot of selling pressure just decreasing from there, despite having a little bit more upside. So obviously now do want to see a lot more volume from the bulls. And if we can see that, then likely we would put in a new trend high. And this, this chart really does give significance to the upside resistance point kind of at about 15 and a half. So that was where we saw a lot of resistance come in before. And unfortunately, we didn't actually see a lot of support on this level, despite it being so resistive previously. So looking left, big point of resistance, big point of resistance on multiple attempts, slight little bit of support, not necessarily as much as we would have expected for such a big significant level. And then obviously now for the close on the most recent move. So do want to see a rally, a lot of bullish volume coming in down below, follow through, breaking this level, holding that close, and then obviously being able to back test it, confirm it as support, and then putting in a new attempt for a new trend high. That's the most bullish case right now. 
But uh, yeah, I think a lot of the rest of the crypto space is still going to kind of go sideways more or less for a little bit more or even potentially pull back slightly. So I think that if we can still go sideways, that's still going to be a favorable outcome for ICP at this point. Because downside risk right now, especially after confirming kind of price stability along this $13 to $14 level is still extremely important and key. And uh, yeah, kind of just does come down to being patient more or less. And uh, yeah, kind of along that same note of patience, did make a tweet earlier today talking about how crypto's not always exciting. And usually it is kind of more of that patience and it's pretty boring most of the time. But that's really where you kind of make your money is for waiting because you don't make money for buying or selling. You actually make money when you wait. So anyway, overall, if you haven't followed me over here on Twitter or X at coin underscore trades is the handle. Do look forward to chatting with everyone over there. Definitely drop me a follow. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing everyone over on Twitter or X. So yeah, with that, that actually is going to go ahead and wrap up the show for today on ICP Internet Computer. Hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you have not done so just yet for plenty more ICP content and other altcoin content just like this. Don't forget to drop me a comment down in the section below if you do have any comments, questions, issues, disagreements, predictions, all that stuff. Do look forward to getting back to each and every one of you. And with that, that is going to wrap us up. Do appreciate all the continued love and support. As always, means so much. Stay safe, take care, everyone, and I'll catch you back in the next video.